I've been saving these just for you. What have you got for me today? Perfection. And I mean that. I'm almost finished at whatever touches you've made. Only a fool would pass this up. This looks practically made for you. It looks made for you. can pull that off. See you later, friend. Until next time, Eivor. Good day. A new customer. Whether I am or not, I am the one you'll speak with. Randry tells me you are merchants. Ah, oh, hello, hello. Are you the leader of this bustling encampment? We come on behalf of a thousand eyes, vendors of uncommon goods and exotic treasures from all corners of the world. If you need it, we have it. If we don't have it, you don't need it. Such is our pledge. I see. And is this child with you? Child? Child. My friend, you look upon the master of the thousand eyes, the head of our guild. A legend, a hero of the people, and the richest merchant west of the Indus, you look upon Redda! He means you? He does, Eivor Wolfkist. It is a pleasure to meet you at last. How have you come to know me? The Thousand Eyes have one thousand years as well, and word travels fast. And what is it I can do for you? Are you for me? It's quite simple. For a fee, I can connect you to a shadow market that stretches from the dunes of Egypt to the moors of England. What sort of fee? It varies with the item, but there is a small hitch. Through this market, all prices are paid in opal. A striking color. Is it rare? Rarer than an honest man in England. You must keep your eyes open for this mineral. It has great value. Now look here! Browse what wares I have on offer. Nothing for now? No matter. My selection changes daily. You will soon find something you like. Now that you are friends with me, you are also a friend of the Thousand Eyes as well. And what does this mean? 
Observe my outfit, not the scarf I wear. As you travel, you will meet many of my associates clad in these same vestments. These are my people, my other eyes. Seek them out for trade or contracts. Oblige them, and you will earn a tidy sum. And I might even feel inclined to reward you myself. An interesting offer. Good to hear. Now, if you will excuse us, my apprentice has a tent to secure. You're staying for a while, I suppose. Oh, yes, and you needn't even thank me. We would be honored to call this our home. Good day. At one time, the title Jarl referred to a man second only to the king. But that use has softened. Now a Jarl may be a chief, a leader, or a man with broad wealth and influence. The world is bigger now, and broken into many pieces. It seems our language must do the same to keep up. <laughs> An interesting thought. Chilbert, your father sent you here to learn, not teach. Then you must start, Eivor. Give us a summary of our recent gains, for instance. The clan is thirsty for knowledge. You want me to give a speech? Right. My friends, hearken to me and hear a tale of triumph and toil. I have traveled far since we landed and seen much on the roads and fields of this new England. And for all my travels, strong alliances have we gained. The honorable Cheowulf, King of Mercia, now called his friend. And to the south, Soma Yal's corner, and the Danes of Grandbridge have pledged their oath to us. By Sigurd's hand and my own, we have strengthened the ties of... You seat yourself as Sigurd's equal in these tales of yours. Would Sigurd do the same if he were here? I do not claim to be Sigurd's equal, but I will not shy from the triumphs I have fairly won, Dag. Let glory seek and find those who have earned it. If that means me, so be it. If that means you, any of you, all the better. And so I raise my horn, first to Sigurd, may he return to us soon, and to the Raven Clan, the best of friends and fighters. To Sigurd! To Sigurd! May he return and relieve us of you! And may all of you enjoy the ale as much as Dag has. Skull! Skull! You think me drunk, Eivor? Would it soften my blows if I was? Your words are blunt enough, but it would explain your boldness. My eyes are clear and open, and I see before me one eager to claim a piece of Sigurd's glory. If you're not yet drunk, you should be. This is a feast and a celebration of Sigurd's leadership. Enjoy it. Just as I thought, you're... Attackers from the river! They look to be Danes! Danes? How many? Too many. Now come, the battle roars already. Bloody curse! What quarrel have Danes with us? Those who can fight, take up your weapons. All others stay here. With me! The Wolfga. So glad to see you. There is nothing for you here! Does this stir your thirst for battle, Randri? It does!
plan is as weak as they claim. You will meet... Is that the last of them? The rivers are clear. If more were coming, they thought better of it. By their colors and markings, I believe they come from Geedland. But the none left alive to spill the secrets, we may never know why. Here is one! <clears throat> this vermin was crawling to the river, hoping to float away. Uh, have mercy, friend. And you may find an ally with us. Mercy is earned by the quickness of your tongue. Where do you come from, and what is your quarrel with us? We are settled in East Anglia. Newly arrived and hungry for silver. You drifted off course. This is Mercia. As we were ordered. By whom? You bore me. Useless hound! Scratching your ass in search of silver! Put an end to this one! Your silence earned you no kindness, Geet. So I'll ask you once more. Who sent you? The wind sent us. And the rivers will take us home. He begs for death, Eivor! Give it to him! Or send him home with a warning. Let him tell his people what death awaits them, should they sail this way again. Go, and do not return. I thank you. This is not mercy, it is death deferred. Whoever sent you warned them of the slaughter that awaits should any return. Oh, what tales I will tell. Send one of your scouts to follow him. We will find... To show mercy would endanger us, soil our reputation as cowards. This was the only end possible. We could have learned something by tracking him. Now we know nothing. Sigurd would have acted as I did. That is all the justification I need. Sigurd is not here to make such a call, but I am. And if you cross me again, you will know about it. I see you, Eivor. And I know what you are. Put no stock in what Dag says. His bluster may be loud, but it blows softly. Get this cleaned up, and we'll talk of next steps. We might spend some time together. That would be lovely. I was just about to get in some archery practice, if you'd like to join me. I could use the practice. Lead on. Ravensthorpe. An island of calm in this turbulent land. But my vision of fire still troubles me. Remember... You can only shoot a target once. Ready? Go! Ravensthorpe. An island of calm in this turbulent land. But my vision of fire still troubles me. If this was a deer, we would be feasting well tonight. Ravensthorpe. An island of calm in this turbulent land. But my vision of fire still troubles me. See that one, Petra? Ravensthorpe. An island of calm in this turbulent land. But my vision of fire still troubles me. Yes! Take that! Ravensthorpe. An island of calm in this turbulent land. But my vision of fire still troubles me. And I believe the victory goes to me. Good game. 
Ravensthorpe. That was fun. Next time, could we light the arrows afire or shoot blindfolded? I'm satisfied with ordinary arrows. Less chance for disaster. Fair enough. I look forward to it. They bring a feast and build their own guest house. These are very generous guests. Ravensthorpe. An island of calm in this turbulent land. What my wish. everything? This feast has to be great. Yes, it is our last chance. Wolf kissed. Welcome to Ravensthorpe. I'm Eivor, though you seem to know me already. You are well known to us. I am Toka Sinrikdottir, and the Frankish boar with me is my advisor, Yeah. We are here on behalf of Siegfried of Frankia, renowned warrior and leader of the Northmen there. You look to be at home here already. How could we not be? What you have done in this place is amazing. The guest house is a fitting addition. We have also brought new tastes for your long table from Frankia. If it is drink you prefer, we have mulled wine. Very generous. Some might say overly generous. Consider it a token of goodwill from the hand of my uncle Siegfried. You know, clan to clan. That would be blood if any here heard I refused a feast. So, consider it accepted. <laughs> yes, you honor us. Ravensthorpe reminds me of how Frankia used to be. Given the chance, I would visit often. You would be welcome. Yet, you do not share your gifts for nothing. I await the boon you surely will ask of me. Tales of your judgment prove true. You can teach me some of that wisdom over ale this day. Shall we begin? Let us see if these Frankish treats hold up to scrutiny. Let us eat! us Franks on the battlefield, but when it comes to drink, we stand unbeaten. If it makes me drunk, I'm glad to drink it. Are there no standards anymore? <laughs> <laughs> I want to show you something. In our travels throughout England, I have taken swords in raids and battles. This I took in a home gang against two oafish brothers in East Anglia. This by the wound twig, but it's still my favorite. So you've traveled to all corners of this land before arriving at Ravenstorm. To what end? I mean to entice you and others like you to join in the glorious raids along the river Sel. Who have you talked with thus far? Many. Jarl Heminger, Guthrum, even Hofton. Paris itself is set to be sieged. And after that, we will have amassed more riches than anyone in England has dared imagine. Let me guess how many Jarls will join you on your Frankish raids and sieges. None. 
they just fail to see the scale of the bounty we stand to plunder. What do you really want, Toga? Every word I have said is true. But there is something else. A new power is rising in Francia. What kind of power? The Frankish kingdoms have been united under one king, Charles the Fat. And with this combined strength, Charles has begun a slow march against the Norse villages there. He killed my father and wiped out my village. I am sorry for your father and your village. We have our own troubles here in this land. With Charles the Fat in power, those troubles will worsen. After his campaign in Francia, he will come for England. Charles will come for you and your clan. His armies multiply by the day. Real soldiers and cavalry, not like the Saxon farmhands and gillers in these parts. If the Raven clan were to help you, what is it you would ask of us? Our chieftain Siegfried prepares to siege Paris and make the Franks rethink their actions against the Norse. And our longships will grow heavy with treasure in the doing. My scouts attest to the claims of Toka and her people. But before now, I saw no reason to involve our clan. Do you see reason now? If the mad King Charles does have ambitions for England, we should act. The secret she mentioned. He rallies the Norse there. Joining him could be our chance to push back against this new king. Or I could meet this Charles myself. And if he will not deal with me, I kill him. This problem is bigger than one king. If we kill one, another will rise. Were he murdered by a Norse from England, it could bring the Franks to our shores even sooner. Then I will be mindful of who I kill and who I ally with in Francia. Could be a stable king is the way to keep Ravensthorpe safe. Let me see the sword. I wish to examine the ironwork. No, I stole this and it is mine. Fine. If you will not show it to me, I will have to take it. Ready yourself, Pierre. I challenge you to a home game. Enough. Toka, you came here looking for help with this new Frankish threat. And the Raven clan will answer your call. You will? You will! I promise you will not regret this. Find Pierre when you have prepared, and we will make for Francia at once. Thank you.
Well, it's here. I'll get you. enough to make one blind. We are blind of now. Lanius was our only king. He saw straight and fought alongside Arturius. We have been blind ever since.
your eyes, my friend. As you would expect, I have contracts that need doing. Again. They're always looking for help, so come back any time. I beg patience all. We'll have this rack cleaned up in no time. Keep it steady, huh? The I love. Hey, bear our master, Ame. You'll be on your way shortly, huh? Something of a shepherd, aren't you? <laughs> it can feel that way, aye. Can I help you with something? Governor this Burr. I would like to speak with him, if I can. Ah, the Governor Trigger. Good and fair day and come to London four years back. Trigger? Aye, most hours of the day you can find him at the old villa, <laughs> dealing with all manner of knavery. Stow! Of course, once his cut. Of the summer harvest, shit, Carl. <laughs> huh? What's the holdup? We're talking. Gentlemen, the farmers of Mercia have paid their burden already. If Avgos wants more, he can petition for it. Petition for it? Well, you can tell that old mud merchant. <laughs> that if he wants his apple, he can bob for it. Belongs to Master Ame, sir. Bob for it! That is filthy. Bob for it!
heaven, you fight like the devil stolen your bread. You give some hard knocks yourself. Bro, be a good lad and prick the names of those that pay their food tax, will you? Right then. You've some dealings with Governor Trigger, is that it? I will have dealings with any who can deliver a fair friendship with my Raven clan. If that is you, then all the better. Ah, no. Trigger's your fellow. I'm the Shire Reeve of London's westerly half. I keep things ordered and fair. Shire Reeve is not a name that rides easy on the tongue. Reeve's my title, sorry. Stow's my name, Stow of London. It is good to meet you, Reeve Stow. London sits on sturdy shoulders. And to be fair, I'm not the only Reeve. There are two of us now, and the governor to boot. We do our best in these times. Wild as they are. Take me to your governor, Stone. He sounds like a man worth knowing. Right then. Station field, rock shepherded, and off to Trigo we go. What can I call you? Humbler of thugs? Dane Hammer? I am Ava of the Raven Clan. We have a settlement to the north, just off the River Neen. Well, I owe you a great debt, Ava. You're a worthy ally. So, this is London, a city built by giants. So they say. She's an old place, as early as they come. But there's a mystery here I quite adore. I was raised here, in fact. Learned the scriptures of Christ's apostles in Lundinwich. I was Saxon Burra, just past the western walls. You're not a priest, are you? <laughs> no. No, no, I was raised by them. And for a penniless bastard, I turned out pretty well. A penniless bastard, and now London's fearless real. Well, it's Trigger who saw something in me. He judges not the circumstance of my birth. His two hands, left and right, are me and a Dane-born soldier, Erke. Erke is an orphan of the last Viking horde to put down in London for a season. Two or three years back now, it must have been. It's through Trigger I met Erke. Wait. Something's wrong. Iron on the air. This blood is fresh. These were good men. What's happened here? these men with the light of thy countenance visiteth and shines upon them. You've no need for outsiders, Stowe. It's a private matter. There's no cause to be leery. Eivor had my back in a brawl at Cripplegate. More thugs from the garrison. Hmm. You must be a real broker to hold your own against those shit hugs. It's time to fatter those men, Stowe. It can't go on like... like this. If this one had a head, you'd be calling him Trigger, yes? Your governor. God above, the man is dead. Some respect, please. We'll get along well, you and me. You must be Erke, London's second reeve. Erke Botelson, yes I am. Are you telling me this gut bucket called me second reeve? First in the Eastborough, and a man I trust with my life. Stowe's never been a good judge of character. Erke, this is Eivor. He came to meet with Trigger, to seal the bonds of friendship with his clan. He would have welcomed you heartily. He was a trusting man. And that got him here. Have you found anything? I just arrived. The killers left a ladder on the body there. I'll have a look around. Trigger had men with him at all times. How could the killers get through? It must have been known to him. Well enough to get close without... This letter. Someone wanted us to see it. From Rome, went an order of heretics who worshipped the relics of a time before Christ. Erke, this was the letter he told us about. Said it contained fearful news about London. It warns of three such heathens who have infiltrated London. His killers, I expect. Well enough to get close without suspicion. Good and holy Christ, he must anyone. He governed this bird. Oh dear. What is this? A barber surgeon's tools. Sharp and precise for easy butchery. Must have been what was used to free Trigger's head from his neck. Didn't know. Didn't think. Three 
sets of footprints leave. Two average and one massive. Find anything? Besides enough blood to repaint the city's faded bricks. No. Do not envy this man's death. Hang on. There's something in his hand. This was not Trigger's seal? No. It looks Roman in origin. It must have been on a ladder he opened. It must have been significant to this guard for him to grasp it even in death. Mayhaps it's what got him killed. I think I have a clear idea of what happened here. Trigger was shot where he sat. Probably as he read the letter. One of the guards grabbed the seal. Try to escape. He did better. A second kill found him first. He met his end at the news, lifted by the bigger man. A third attack took his eyes, then came for Trigger's head. Symbolic, maybe. Headless leader, eyeless guards. The killers were without fear. This killer was a message. Their footprints leave together, three sets, heading back to the courtyard. The letter mentions three heretics, named only by Monikers. The Leech, the Arrow, the Compass. Signed by someone calling himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ. Poor fellow soldier. Odd name. Three names, three killers, as you said. Baltersack. It could be anyone in London. Who can we trust? Only the people in this room, I fear. Even that would be unwise, until we know more. Arrow is described as a pugnacious Dane invader. That describes too many in London. The Leeds hails from Vesex. London is home to many of them as well. And the Compass, a Frankish captain. Less common, but no face comes to mind. What is this symbol here? I recognize that from the Mithraic temple. I passed it on the way here. Mithraic temple? Is that a church? A church? Heavens, no. Mithras was a pagan idea. A so-called god beloved by the ancient soldiers that built this city. Our city is overrun with cowards. We may be next to fall if we don't resolve this sick fermentation of hate. I've told you, this city answers to blood and power. We should serve as such. I can't leave him like this. He's... I need to. We'll get the church to see to it, though. No. No, it should be me. I must ready him for judgment. I understand. Only well, get some air from time to time. It reeks in here. Shall we, Broga? To arms! Defend Trigger! Ah. Well, now the locals have caught up whiff of this fatted mess. The temple is yours to explore, Eivor. It's to the east of here. I must wear my reef's face for a time. Keep away! Keep away! The fight is over. Town Hall will follow soon. Should the reefs change their minds, I will have to gut them and put a puppet on the top London's throne. But Stowe seems a good man. I will trust his word.
temple of Mithras, well guarded by a tangle of old ruins. I need to find the entrance. Tools for a surgeon, finely crafted, like we found in the villa. And there's a letter here, arranging payment to a blacksmith. calls the strikes.
compass holds sway over the others. He has ordered the Arrow to recruit archers in a market to the west. Worth a visit. I have got enough to go on for now. The arcades, though, must see all this. I see more bloodshed in London's future. At least Sunin will feast. to draw attention here. It's worth knocking on a few doors, that's all I'm saying. Trigger wasn't killed because you want to plant a few trees and fix a few roofs in London. Looks less like a meal for crows in here. Hey, what? You bring good findings, I hope? A few sheets of vellum. Notes between members of a secret society. The Order of the Ancients, they are called. Order of the Ancients? Doesn't sound any bells in this head. What's the purpose? That would take some time to explain. But know this, that I am here to kill them. In London, it seems the compass is the head. The arrow and the leech are his hands. Pet names and secret orders. What a crock. Do we know anything we can act on? The compass is a mystery. He is mentioned often, but there is little to go on. Said he was a Frankish captain, did you? To find him, we'd have to mark the ships that came and went along the Thames. Captains are a transient sort. It may be he's far away, keeping quiet. That may be, but would he scream if we cut off his hands? Oh, you've a filthy mind for strategy. 
We'll kill the arrow and the leech, and sit back and wait. Let the compass come to us. The leech has need of flesh. Been looking for thralls, though I cannot say why. We found a number of dead down by the Keys lately, but not thralls alone. Some of the missing we find again, in several places, cut to pieces. Good lord, Erke! The Arrow is a Dane, who has seen his share of battle. His name suggests he is an archer. <laughs> I bet my knuckles he's the one sowing discord among the Danes that shelter in London. If it were me, I'd hide among my ranks, surrounded by other fighting men. The Arrow has orders from the Compass to recruit soldiers at a market in the West. I know the very place. Let us not waste any more time. We'll find the Arrow and the Leech. Killing both should drag the Compass back into port. So, I will catch you at the Western Market. Count on it. And I'll make for the Keys. There's another few bodies there to fish out of the muck. It could be the Leech is back at work. God be with us, friends. Go in his name, and be protected by him.